the reigning and defending IBO light heavyweight champion of the world, Lyndon King Arthur. The reigning and defending WBA super light heavyweight champion of the world, Dimitri B. Right, lads, you don't expect from you both, you obey the instructions at all times. When I tell you to break, you both break clean, you defend yourselves at all times, and the best ones you both. Touch clubs. 33 on Monday, and celebrated by having two training sessions. That's how dedicated he is to his craft. B-ball in the goal. And, and presence, you definitely want to shine. Darren, you know there's some nerves. Like, Bebo's already in the position. It's only not even 20 seconds into the round. Arthur's already in. That's just physical pressure that Bebo's applying. And this and aggression came out really strong. He's going to be looking for a knockout. Does he need the knockout? Bebo coming out this aggressive, maybe a little disrespect. He wants to, to punch really hard, like in the power position as far as his foundation. Turn some heads. Make a real statement. It's a body movement, and he's not committing more than just a jab. I mean, we saw total domination with. One, two. Bebo opening up now. On Leonard Arthur gets him off balance. Sorry. And he says the only way it won't hurt you is if you stay completely calm or relaxed. He's a try and. I mean, look, everything seems so simple. But you know, you got to give Arthur some credit. He is, he is doing what he has to do to try to keep Bebo off with that jab, but just. Jab off. Uh, he needs to move that, doesn't need to be stood. See this, how he springs into life, Bouval. I think we'll see it at some point. Uh, not sure what weight. The jab set it all up. Lyndon trying to smile his way out of this. Bouval is peppered. Yeah, he's just biding his time, patient. Just gutting Arthur, and that's going to bring the hands down. That's going to make an opening for a hook like that. Great just variation, great speed. Look at the concentration. Make it happen. This is the 11th defense over the jab of Arfa. Yeah, Arfa moving to his left, throw it right to the body, and fire back upstairs with the shot. Oh, this is a switched on, aggressive pivot. At least Linden's off the ropes. So much leverage behind that jab that it just feels like a power shot. Way better than he's now. Boom, right there. That's going to open up all the other shots. You can expect to see Bevo throw more of those right hands. Oh, no, don't pull down. Boom, back. Here we go, round four. This is the first time Lyndon Arthur has ever... I love the pressure. Look, he's just missing with direction, because right now the momentum's all in Bevo. Yeah, he's to do. Shots raining in from all angles. From that jab. Be wide open to a hook. Bevo? No, Arthur. Oh. To be predictable. I have lots of easy response. Oh, fuck, because there was signs at the end of that full switch off for a second, and down the stretch, that, that is really draining, like I say. Draining is something different, Sergio. Yeah, and you know what? I'm getting more foresty behind the jab. Mini eyeballs onto a left hook there, good shot. You know, find a way to land a punch. I don't know where to place the shot, but. It's almost as if he's trying to walk people on to his shoulder. And then soon it'll be physically draining because you keep getting more down. By you can see that he's still in it. Oh. he has got that right hand locked and loaded. Too cute to get cool with enemies coming oh. back. Chris, you, you just heard Sergio say his game plan's doing great. Round five, scheduled for 12. And I'm talking about to the gut. Again, he's got to alternating and going to his right. So notice, even if they're not landing cleanly, they're just, they're just getting any part of your body. And I'm, not, any, I'm not going to challenge you on that, Sergio. I'm just going to let it flow. We're walking off to the right hand. Notice how Bebo closes off that, that, that exit. He can't move to his right. So he's forcing him to keep going to the left. He's still he's trying, trying to find a win. You, get, you see what I'm yeah. saying, right, Dan? Consistent jab. He throws it more. Just caught him with a left hook. Yeah, I'm just sorry about perhaps needing a knockout win, it's clear that that's what he's going for. Yes, and I noticed that too. You're bound to get caught with an overhand right by keep moving to your vulnerable and aiming him straight to that right hand. Oh, Arthur just cannot figure b out. In front of your face looking to counter you. And exhausted. 
someone just always. Uh, be careful. Uh, the scene he's pouring along with the right hand. I think he's fighting not to lose. I mean, uh, everything is set up behind a beautiful jab. And you see Tyson Fury. He's got a great corner. He's going to have a great game plan. Got left here. As B-Ball seemingly has won every round. Is that the way you see it, Chris? Yeah, I've got a five rounds. there of just putting the shots out there, and then he follows everything through afterwards. And again, he's just well, seeing... If Archer better be up against pass. He's not throwing that much power behind him. Maybe he's, he's trying to bait the power and the confidence. No, I've been informed. Look, it, this is a very Beevil-esque performance. It is January, which I think is going to be a terrific fight between Better Beev and Smith. I think it's a, a fight that he is controlling with the jab. He's throwing good combinations. And the confidence of Arthur, that way he can counter Arthur and maybe hit, hurt him that way. One great jab and looking for that right hand. Yeah, you wonder what's going to happen. Well, not the Saudi League. Dominating, right? And he's pound for pound talent. But yeah, whenever you have the Evil's trying, trying to unleash that right hand with mean intentions, he threw it downstairs and went around the goal. plan is more to not get knocked out than it is to win a fight. I wonder what's going to happen if Bevel hits him with a crisp straight B of how likely is that? Round seven. Shout out six rounds to none in favor of Dimitri Bevel. And Arthur started to do a couple of different things over these last. What, what league do you follow, Todd? MLS? Major League Soccer. Every single uh, uh, fight on the undercard being by knockout, exciting knockout right hand now. So it's not just a, a battle of the jab. You beat Dimitri Bevel with the way Lyndon Arthur is fighting. Well, how many people have been able to penetrate the guard? Of hand down the pipe. Mm. He did that in round two, I believe. You know, it gets good to you. You want to see more of it. But now, Bivol loading up. The ropes a little more, trying to creep forward. Sixth round, Bivol. Smooth, relaxed. He's not the left side, sorry, his right side of Arthur. So he can try and find the range with that more right from hand. From Bivol, because Bivol does have heavy hands, but he's always he's been headhunting this last five, six wow, rounds. But better signs there from Arthur. The life, Sergio, is so impressive. That right hand was one inch away. That landed on the chin, but maybe one inch oh, north of driving there. manually. So accurate upstairs. That was a nice shot. You met Lyndon Arthur as he easy, doesn't he, Sergio? Absolutely. And here's the thing. Good operator, but happy about Lyndon doing it. Well, people should be unleashing with uppercuts and body shots. That's what Anthony Jarvis had success when he stopped. Lyndon counter. You can see Arthur's looking to counter the, the body shots to the left side of the body. Right there. Two shots to the... Interesting body language here. No, I just got the first part that he's doing pretty good. to help him find the right hand, Sergio. Yeah, if I, if I was Bevo, look, you already had... Yeah, I think a lot of fans at home would like to see that. I'm dominating, but something still going to come back and hurt me. Cheer from the champ. Ooh, good right hand there. Shots well. But Bevo, that's not a Bevo's temperament. You know, he doesn't change and he's trying to find a way to, to yes, yeah, survive and also try to... Yeah, Arthur has the guard of Bevo, but Bevo's that much of an expert. Dude. Is Bivol? He's on the front foot, but you know he head hunts. That's the one thing that. There's a body there shot. Go. Bivol hurt as he just playing possum. He kind of backed up there after that body shot from Arthur. And the snap of the jab and aggression in Bivol. And just like that, overhand right. Try to get those gloves to come down. Goes down. Lays a straight right hand. That's yeah, a winning formula. He needs to throw more of those. Bivol loves. In the corner of Arthur, imploring him to go forward now. He needs to build from this, though, off of Arthur. Oh, oh so. yeah. Best punch of the round. Manix, who's with Sonny Edwards. All right, Sonny, how do you play some you? fire? And just get a little close. And that body shot got Bebo a little angry. This is a shot here. Oh, again, a lovely jab. You know, he, he's trying to not give up as much space. Man, a big right hand. It's that jab. Catch, catches him midway. And that shakes our And that's what we were talking about. Both these fighters have good jabs. Eyes on this card that maybe wouldn't watch boxing normally. But I think that's why you want to see more because you know I've got the finish. That's, Let's, a good, that's a good point. Let's see if Bivol can do the same. Still some time to go. With his lower body, with his foot positioning, he puts you in the place he wants you, not the place you. Bivol has. Won. But one has a great jab, and that's what's actually doing the damage. Right out of character, just to make a few more fans or be a little bit more popular. Yeah. That can cost them sometimes. I guess all the, the names. And after 
the performance of Daniel Dubois. I'm sure fans can't wait. 76 landed by Beeble, 35 for Arthur. And that's basically what the stats said. Do you think maybe one Chris Mannix if you given one to Arthur? Not at this point. It's not two steps forward. He sees the face of Lyndon Arthur. He knows He's the armchair fan for entertainment value. He's boxing well. You know, we're, we're seeing every single shot. And keep in mind, Vivo was listed as a 25 to 1 favorite. He was expected. Good feet. Yeah. These are really stiff jabs, and now he's back to our in the goat. He did. He picked up knockouts that way, though. Stop your pal, Peter Van Brado, that way. He's in, he's in control. One favorite. He was expected to dominate this. The only question was can he get the finish? Yeah, he, caught, he caught Arthur getting a little bit aggressive coming forward. That's a, Pounds his chest, says bring it on, people. We want to see more of that. Technician, tactician, very, very good. Is he going to let people, or is he going to let Arthur off the road? He's going to work it. And that body shot sends Arthur down. And that's what I've been calling for the body shots. Sometimes when you can't get the head shot, go downstairs. That's exactly what Anthony got them. So Bebo gets the knockdown, but not quite the knockout. Three minutes is an eternity when you're hurt to the body. That fight being stopped. The referee was right there, ready to step in. He was literally starting to step in and stop this final round. And now he's on the front foot. Nice chance. Going straight, uppercut open right there. Left hand from Bebo. The referee's having a stop. Stoppage. And uh, we got to give credit to them. Uh, Score something spectacular himself. This fight is not winning round. But this is a great onslaught of shots. This, Arthur's got to throw something back. And he does. Can Bebo do something similar? Yeah, imagine. Yeah. Is it Arthur fans are certainly? I don't think we won. I think that was that was Bebo touching him to the body again. There it was. And here he goes. We're certainly hoping that's the case. See the referee taking a close look. This is what you asked for, Chris Maddox. Fifteen seconds to go. Can his credit is going to go 12 full rounds with one of the best pound for pound fighters in the game. Yeah, he can be proud of himself for sure. Absolutely, he can be. But I... Bivol there, th there's more. We know there's more. We see glimpses of it there. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision, Dimitri Bivol. Uh, I could say that it was good sparring for me. Uh, yeah, as good as everyone thinks he is, he, 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 I, believe, I believe he'll beat Baterbiev. No excuses, he's, he's a great fighter.